major break in the Rachel Marin murder investigation this week. The Harford County Sheriff's Department finally releasing sketches of the person they believe is her killer. More than six months after the murder of the mother of five was found dead, she was murdered on a popular hiking trail. Now remember, they already had video showing the suspect leaving a different crime scene in Los Angeles where he's accused of assaulting a young girl during a home invasion, but you never see his face in that video. They were able to link the scenes using DNA found at both in Maryland and in Los Angeles, totally different parts of the country, and the red hat apparently is key. Police saying DNA evidence they found and used to track down the potential suspect came from the red hat. Harford County Sheriff Jeff Gawler explained. This composite um, is not only what, our, what we believe the suspect looks like, but also that hat. Um, that hat is uh, the, the red Michael Jordan, Air Jordan hat uh, with the very flat brim, uh, the stickers on it is the hat that was recovered from Los Angeles. It's, it's one, one of the items where the DNA was pulled from that led us to the match. Rachel was reported missing by her boyfriend on August 5th after she set off for a hike at around 6 that evening and never returned. Officers found her car at the trailhead the next day, and hours later, a volunteer searcher found her body. Rachel's mother, Patty, spoke with me earlier this week about this new development. I'm actually happy that we finally have a sketch and we have a face that we can look for. Um, having just the back of somebody's head, unless you're a mother and you know your child, um, or it's your best friend or, or your husband, it's hard to know who that person is. So having a sketch of the person's face, I just feel like the whole world's going to be looking for this man. Let's hope so. Back with my uh, panel, Geraldo Rivera, you have a theory about this case. I do. Why is there no person attached to the DNA that has been found and linked between the two crime scenes? I submit that it is likely, at least to me, uh, that this is an undocumented immigrant, an illegal alien who is not anywhere in the U.S. data bank. Uh, he's, there's no name attached to him. He's never been arrested in the United States. It's clear, otherwise he would have popped right up. Uh, it, 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 he is, I submit, likely an undocumented person whose identity is unknown because he's one of millions now in the country without authorization and without any kind of... Uh, a paper trail, so to well, speak. Well, that is Jesse if he's still in the country, right? I mean, that's yeah. going to be a big thing. Now, the, the sheriff also released what they viewed as another key detail, mm -hmm. that they believe that the killer was in Maryland for a few days before the murder, suggesting that they have evidence that he was spotted, et cetera. Does that change anything? Look, I think this is a great development. I, I'm cautiously optimistic because this sketch would have been great six months ago. His, you look at the photo. Maybe someone will be like, oh, I remember that guy, but he's not, doesn't have those kind of distinguishing characteristics. He may look entirely different now than he did. And, and, and as much as they talk about the red hat, does he still have it? I mean, do, 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 right. is he wearing it at other places? It's a great thing. But at the same time, it would have been more useful six months ago. Maybe it'll strike somebody's memory and say, I remember seeing somebody with that dis exact description in Maryland. But again, I'm cautiously... But, and, and this is interesting, because the sheriff talked about why it took them so long, right? This is, uh, this is number one. We've had other composites, and um, we've had questions about that, that people heard there was composite done. But when it was shown to witnesses, again, people here, people there in Los Angeles, people here in Hartford County, um, they didn't feel that it was an accurate representation. So we weren't going to push something out that even our witnesses don't, uh, just because we have one, doesn't that they don't have a high level of confidence. Misty, the, the families have been frustrated. Um, I'm sure law enforcement's frustrated as well. But six months later, uh, finally getting a sketch. 
Yeah, finally getting the sketch, and I mean, they don't want to get this wrong. It sounds like they waited until they had what they could create the most accurate sketch. It's difficult, Dan, when you have these crimes in different jurisdictions to bring that together. But now there's the sketch. There's also a reward attached. So to the extent that somebody's seen this individual, they could be incentivized to come forward. And don't forget electronic footprint. Now this sketch is out there. Could he have been caught on some form of a CCTV? Could there be video footage uh, that somebody is in possession of that could now be sent to law enforcement? It's certainly a step in the right direction. You know, thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find News Nation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.